that's right folks, the special douche flutes killed another YouTuber. Although Jenna Marble lost her marbles, it went black-faced. Well, kind of more orange face, like Captain Bum Cheese here. She does join a unique group like the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, Pedo Jackson, and the Wayland Brothers Tranny Whiteface. Yes, that happened, kids. I wonder if the Wokes are going to hit them next. So here is Jenna's story. R.I.P. baby. All right, so I get it. I um, feel like we're at a time where we are purging ourselves of anything and everything toxic. And um, I'm being requested that I address things that I've done in my past. Um, I also get a lot of tweets from people that are saying like, we love you, you unproblematic queen which always makes me uncomfortable because I'm a person. Those of you that are familiar with how long I've been on the internet know that that's not true, that I've definitely done things in the past that weren't great, and I'm not completely unproblematic. And I've tried my best to grow up and to be a better person. And first and foremost, I want everyone to know that I've always been a two-way street and that any time that you criticize me and tell me that you would like me to do better or to do something differently, that I always try to do that and I try to make fun content, inclusive content, things that don't offend people or upset people and that's kind of where I am. <laughs> There's a couple things that people want me to address and apologize for and I'm happy to do that because what I want from the people that I support and that I like is to have accountability and to know that I'm supporting someone whose morals and values align with my own and yeah I've there's things in my past I'm not proud of and I'm getting a lot of tweets from people saying why have you privated all these old videos and uh, I've spent a lot of the last few days privating almost all of my old content. <laughs> and I'm sorry if any of that holds any nostalgia for you, but I'm literally not trying to put out negative things into the world. Uh, I think there was a time when having all of my old content exist on the internet showed how much I have grown up as a person, which I am very proud of. And uh, I think now <laughs> it's hard for that content to exist at all because I think people watch it and don't bother to look at when it was posted or you know care about what path I took to get to where I am. Um, it offends them now. And if that's the case where people will watch something and be offended now, I don't want it to exist. Um, so I've privated a lot of my old content because I just don't want anyone to feel upset about anything. I, I don't want to contribute to that. I don't want, I, I don't care. I don't care, I just don't care. I don't want someone to watch something and feel hurt or offended now for any reason at all. The first two things that I would like to address is the fact that there are people that were offended that I did blackface as Nicki Minaj in 2011. And I'll show you the clip. <laughs> it's incredibly cringy and embarrassing. This is private. It has been private for quite some time, but it looks like this. <laughs> and I do just want to tell you that it was not my intention to do blackface. This is the end of the video where I took my wig off. I, I don't know how else to say this, but it doesn't matter because all that matters is that people were offended and it hurt them. And for that, I am so unbelievably sorry that this isn't okay. And it hasn't existed on the internet for a long time because it's not okay. And I haven't done anything remotely like that because I heard people say, this is blackface and I don't like that. And I, I just, would never want to put that into the world. So this has been private for a long time. 
but I do want to tell you how unbelievably sorry I am if I ever offended you by posting this video or by doing this impression and that that was never my intention. It's not okay. It's shameful. It's awful. I wish it wasn't part of my past. The next thing that I want to address. Okay, this is also from 2011. A bad year for me in judgment, apparently. Um, this video is called Bounce That Dick. This has also been made private. Uh, I don't want to offend anyone. I'm not interested in it. I'm not interested in making anyone feel bad, in case you haven't noticed. Um, here's a clip. I will play it for you. Here, hold on, let me remind you. So as you can see, I said, hey, Ching Chong Wing Wong, shake your King Kong Ding Dong. Sorry, that was racist. I'm bad at rap songs. It's awful. It doesn't need to exist. It's inexcusable. It's not okay. I'm, I'm incredibly sorry if this offended you. Then, now, whenever. It doesn't need to exist. It shouldn't have existed. I shouldn't have said that. Ever. It's not cool. It's not cute. It's not okay. And I'm embarrassed that I ever made that. Period. The next thing I'd like to apologize for is a video that I posted in 2012 and made private shortly thereafter. This was one of the hardest years of my life and I made a video that came across unbelievably slut shamey and I'm sorry. I, I just fucked up. I ranted about girls that ran around and slept around and that's wrong. I had a lot of internalized misogyny, I feel like at that time in my life. And I'm sorry if I ever offended you with the things that I said in that video. And that video has been private for a long time. Um, it does not reflect my attitude towards anyone in their bodies. And I just, I, that's really been eating me up inside for a long time. And I just wanted to tell you that I'm sorry if I ever made you feel bad about yourself or your choices or anything. There's no one demanding an apology uh, for that video of me right now, but I'm like, <laughs> just, you know what, put it on my tab. Uh, here's another thing I'm sorry for. I'm also sorry for, um, I used to make a lot of content about like what girls do and what guys do. And I know at the time there are a lot of people that enjoyed those videos, but I have privated all of them because I don't think that making jokes about your gender is funny. And I know that there's a lot of people that struggle with their identity and that have varying fluid identities or anything. And I just don't want content in the world that's like, I don't know, just doesn't make sense. <laughs> you know, it doesn't make sense. It can be hurtful, it can be harmful, and I don't want it there. Another thing that I would like to address is when people tweet at me I can't believe you'd be friends with this person or follow this person that's racist or, you know, done these terrible things. And the only thing I would like to say is that I'm, I'm just a person trying to navigate the world um, the same way that you are. So I don't always know what's right, what's wrong, what the truth is, and I'm just trying my best. As someone clearly with their own past that they're not proud of, um, I do just try to see people for who they are right now, today, and that they're not defined by their past. Um, and I understand. I'm, I'm trying to do the same thing that you are and support and be friends with people that I'm proud of and that I love. And I just know that I'm doing my best. And I just, I don't know, you know? I try to just do what I can. And I'm not trying to let anyone down or hurt anyone or upset anyone. I'm just not. <laughs> that being said, um, I've privated a lot of my old content. Um, I don't, I don't want to hurt anyone. <laughs> I don't want to offend anyone. I don't. Um, in case you guys haven't noticed, there's no sponsors on this channel. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Like I'm literally just here to have a good time. And um, I don't think I'm having a good time. And it seems like maybe some other people aren't having a good time. So for now, um, I don't, I just can't exist on this channel. Hopefully I've taken down uh, anything that would upset someone. And I hope you know that that's just not my intent. 
That's not what I ever set out to do, to hurt anyone's feelings or to make anyone feel bad. Um, so I'm just, I don't, I don't want to be like upset while I say this. So give me a second. So um, I think I'm just gonna move on from this channel for now. Um, I don't know if that's forever. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Um, I'm just, I wanna make sure that the things that I put into the world are not hurting anyone. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna stop for now or forever. <laughs> I don't know. I will probably take this video down because it's embarrassing and just let whatever just live and just be, that's it. I wanna say thank you um, for your support. For those of you that um, care about me and have been watching me for a long time, I appreciate it. I wanna hold myself accountable and, and it's painful to do it and it's not fun and it hurts and I'm ashamed of things I've done and said in my past, but um, it's important. And yeah, I hope this uh, felt like something that you needed to hear from me. And um, I just, I'm not sure that I want to continue doing stuff on this channel. And I don't want to put anything out in the world that's going to hurt anybody. So I need to be done with this channel for now or for forever. I don't know. So, all right. Good talk. See you guys.